Yesterday, I came to the realization that Canva designers suck. And not only do Canva designers suck, Canva educators suck. And it's not for the reason you think. How you guys doing? My name is Stan Benjamin T-Shirt, Side Hustle, and I help people start T-Shirt businesses from home, wherever you at. And in this video, we're gonna talk about why I think Canva designers and educators suck right after the intro. Okay, okay, let's jump right into it. But before we do, you guys know what I need you to do for me. I need you to like this video, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff, because I make videos like this all the time. And yes, I mean all the time. Man, oh man, 2024 has started and it's going and I'm having a tough time. I didn't say a tough time. I'm working my ass off, y'all. I'm working my ass off to try to turn things around for myself in the shop and everything that's going on around me and also helping you guys, right? Uh, we got a lot going on. The show's coming up. But I want to tell you guys before we get into the video and I'll tell you why I think Canva graphic designers and educators suck it's not for the reason you think. I want to tell you guys about something that I'm working on. My boy, Greg, like-minded Bozeman, over from the art department. We are working on a new podcast called The Art of Hustle Podcast, right? If you want to check it out, we're looking at airing it on Wednesdays, maybe 6 or 7 p.m. consistently. And you want to sign up for the email list, get notified about that. You can go to the Art of Hustle podcast.com sign up for the email list we appreciate you guys for the love logo is looking nice man let me know down in the comments right there let me know what you guys think about that logo man i like it i can't wait to throw it on the shirt and rock it around you know what i'm saying so back on to the video man i had two experiences with canva yesterday one good and one bad and it prompted me to make this video and go on a ramp yesterday on instagram while i was out and so this video is rightfully titled why I think Canva designers and educators suck. And it's not for the reason you think, right? This isn't a video where I'm about to bash people about using Canva really or anything like that. It's more the ground floor. So let me jump into why I think, uh, or let me jump into the first situation, the bad situation of what happened. So I take a rush job, comes in Thursday night. It needs to be done Friday. I actually just delivered it Saturday morning. She, I met her at the shop. She picked up. So she could go off to her vending event, right? So... I take this job, it's last minute. I had pulled out too much marathon vinyl on the order, you know what I'm saying, and all of this kind of stuff. But nonetheless, I start the job. I order the shirts on Thursday. They come Friday. Uh, I think they got here maybe one o'clock, right? So I got a good 34 shirts to do. She wanted glitter, so I had to do it in uh, vinyl. I, the marathon ink glitter, it just, wait, just, just, it just wasn't enough of the same color consistently. So I just, you know, got to knock it out in vinyl. So about three o'clock, I'm starting to kind of get in a groove of working and all of that stuff. Got an idea of what I'm doing and I'm starting to cut and I get some new artwork in. Right. And I just ignored it. So then I get a phone call a little bit after that. You see the new art? I'm like, yeah, I see it. You know, I'm already started. I wasn't going to add it, but I did like one of the designs. So I was like, you know what? I, I like this one. I'm going to try to use, I'll try to mix it in a little bit. So. I'm like, cool, let me get this, what I already got prepped out going, and then I'll add that in there, and we'll get this thing rolling. So uh, I hit her up. I say, yo, have her send me the files. Send me the files. Um, and again, this is something I ain't end up getting out of here until like 1030 last night. Not because I had to do that, and I had to do something else. I had to reclaim some screens for like an hour at the end of the day so I could get this other rush job done uh, that came in for screen printing. And, you know, so I'm like, all right, let me... You know, I'm working. So it's not all this reason why. But so I'm going back and forth. And after receiving like 16 versions of the file and I'm still not getting a usable file, I would have had to redraw the basic text. Couldn't get the fonts. Couldn't get it. I, I don't know. Like export the file big. Send me a PNG. I get a PNG. The PNG got a tan background. I'm like, the point of a PNG is that it's transparent. Right. And I'm like, give me the largest possible file you know knock the background out and i'm literally coaching this girl at one point so first we going back and forth between the person who ordered it right and it's like a two hour gap in between she sent me an email i'll respond right back man send me a png i open up the jpeg the jpeg by no stretch of the imagination when i opened up in the software is this big and i'm just like bro come on man so eventually, I'm on the phone with the girl who ordered the shirt. She's, I guess, either she's with or got it on speaker, and the other girl's there. And she literally at one point says, I don't know how to do that. Like, I can't do that. And I'm like, 
or Kevin doesn't allow me to do that. Now, whatever, the, whatever the reason was, it is unacceptable. And this is why I think that Canva designers suck. Because you guys don't know how to get a usable file out of the software. And this isn't the first time, but this thing blew me. And, and later on, I'm going to tell you another scenario where it kind of worked out when you work with somebody who knows, even though they're using Canva. And so... I'm just, I'm just like, bro, I don't got time to redraw this. You already last minute, you know, I, I try to cut it. I'll see what it looked like. The basically the small text, it just look, you know how you take something into like a cut software and it doesn't trace because it's like pixelated. So it's all different. Like the U's not even symmetrical. It's like one side fat, one side skinny. It's just, it was just not good. Right. And I could have printed it, but I'm like, you know, it, I don't, yeah, I don't like it, you know. And I showed it to her this morning. She said, you should have made it. But, oh, I see what you're saying. I could at least wear one for myself, even though it's not whatever. I'm like, yeah, all right, whatever. That that, that joint was terrible. And I wasn't putting my name on that, right? Some of us are, are like that. So after, like, getting 16 versions of this file and over, like, a four-hour span, I was just like, bruh, I w that's not even what prompted me to make this video. What prompted me to make this video is that literally... I got on the phone with somebody um, and we made a logo real quick because this is something that we just. So I, I was like, this is the first time I actually seen Canva being used recently, right? Because I'm an illustrated person. I'm putting concepts together from scratch and we kind of rock out with what we rock out with. But being able to scroll through and be able to pick something and be able to tweak it and be able to make changes and custom and combine different pieces. Oh, man, I might start using Canva after this, right? Like. Canva has done a very, really good job of making it easy to use. So we put together a logo and it's not as flexible as what you get in Illustrator, but we got it very, very close. And I'm like, all right, cool. Send me that, export it. And I, and I, you know, I do the final tweaks in, uh, in Illustrator and we'll be good to go. So I get the file and the file is beautiful. The only thing that had to happen is I had to take the icon that we created and I had to knock it out of the background, but it was all vector and everything. And I'm like, bro, if I would have got a vector file or this file from this person, it would have took us 15 minutes to be right. And we could have got the customer a new design, all of that kind of stuff. But just simple fact that you guys cut so many corners, the corners are cut so crazy that you guys don't even know how to do the basic fundamentals of exporting a file that is universally used in any program that you go into, a EPS, a SVG, and it's not all, I'm, 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 I'm grouping it all together, right? It's like clickbait type stuff, but you guys got to learn the basics of resolution, of what are file types? What are the purpose of the file types? What is the DPI, right? Like all of this stuff is stuff that you need in this industry, once you get out of Canva, you go do something. If you just posting on social media and all of that kind of stuff, and that's all you plan on doing, then by all means, right? And I don't really know how to, and I really don't want to learn how to kind of go into Canva, or maybe I should, to say, okay, export this and use this in this way and all of that kind of stuff. And I'm sure the educators out there are saying it, but it's not enough emphasis on it. Right. Everything has become so microwavable, easy, and everybody's a graphic designer. And I'm, I'm a graphic designer that I don't even think I'm good at. Right. But I'm capable of doing certain things because I had to go through a certain knowledge base when it came to using some of these programs in order to learn. But I think Canva has done a great job making design accessible. And you guys know me. I'm all about bringing more people into the industry and everybody's a dot designer and all of that kind of stuff. But, bro, we got to get back to the basics. We got to go back and cover the fundamentals. And if you're using some of this stuff, you need to learn the fundamentals because what's going to happen at the end of the day is I'm going to charge her probably $50 to redraw this artwork and this little text because the person that she used as a graphic designer, her friend or whatever the case is, which is perfectly fine because I prefer to get my files, my art, give me your art ready to go. I don't even want to think. I don't want to read your mind. I don't want to come up with nothing. I don't make money necessarily. I do make money off of design, but it's not my money maker. It's not my uh, ends to, means to an end, right? It is a piece of the job that I need to do in order to get to what is my money maker will be printing shirts, right? I know graphic designers that charge four or five thousand. You know, I've seen some fifteen thousand dollar quotes for, you know, design and logo work, and I don't think my customer base is paying that. So, you know, we in that range of like three to five hundred dollars for stuff, right? So, I want to get it done quick. But if you can come to me with some art because somebody else tried to read your mind and they came up with five, six, seven, eight nine, 10 different versions and you figured out what you like, I would much rather prefer that. But in this case, man, like it, it just, it just wasn't good. Right. So I think that camera designers suck. 
And it's not because the software sucks or their creativity sucks or anything like that. It's just like, bro, we just got to get back to learning and understanding some of those basics so that we can take the work that we're doing and we can use it in multiple places and different sizes and kind of getting the files right. So I hope this video doesn't cause too much controversy, but I thought it was a cool one. I was on a real rant last night when I was at Applebee's receiving a terrible service. Uh, so, you know, we here with Duncan this morning because, you know, T-shirt size runs on Duncan. Listen, if you need any education supplies or anything like that, Head over to, uh, let me say, if you need any education, head over to T-Shirt Side Hustle. We've been doing clarity calls. Uh, they've been great. I've been sending out little tidbits from those on the email list. So go to T-Shirt Side Hustle, join the email list, get some education. If you need help with your website or anything like that, visit Brand My Print Shop. Uh, that thing is growing. It's expanding. And we got some new services coming. I'm kind of slowly growing that thing out. And last but not least, if you need any supplies or anything like that, and you want to support the channel, go over to marathon.supply, DTF transfers, all of that kind of stuff, vinyl, ink, whatever you may need is over there. Uh, and yeah, man, go back to the fundamentals, go back to the basics. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. This is being boy Stan Banks from T-Shirt Side Hustle. Peace. <laughs>